All right, Samaria, this is our second video. I'm going to do an analysis on. Um, I watched all of them that, that you sent over from your practice uh, yesterday. I chose this one. There's some good things going on in this video I want to point out and some things that we will continue to work on uh, as we go forward. We'll watch it full speed, and we'll, we'll get right into it. All right, well, here, let's watch it one more time. I gotta be sure with, with, with what I'm looking at. Okay. okay, the first thing I notice is, are you being aggressive? Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, I like this. I like that kind of that kind of grip and rip right here. That's awesome. Um, for anybody else watching this video, I'm not a. I don't coach. I don't coach uh, grip and rip. That that's not that's not something that I will tell my athletes to do. Some throwers are a little more relaxed than others. It's just a part of the personality. That's who they are. I am a very laid back person, so I tend to be that type of coach. Except when I get in the ring, when it's time to throw. I know how to kind of flip that switch and, and get serious and get aggressive and all those things. And this is not something that her and I have talked about explicitly, but something that I've noticed. And she'll develop it as she throws and throws and, and gets better and more comfortable in the ring. Um, so to kind of see her do this in her throw, I am happy with that. I am very, very happy with that. All right. So last week, we talked about the first movement being primarily with the upper body. As we see here, we are starting to make that change. The upper body still initiates the rotation with the shoulders. I like to explain it like a helicopter uh, propeller. It's not necessarily that way for everybody. It's just the simplest way to explain it to younger throwers or throwers who have very little experience, everything works together. Nonetheless, we're opening up that left as our left side, open up the left heel, excuse me, as our left side is moving. And that's awesome. That's closer to what we should be doing. But if our left knee and foot is right here. Let's see if that elbow gets passed. Not quite. Elbow gets right about here. Obviously, I have seen the video, so I know that you over rotate. But this is for anybody out there. Anytime you don't get the armpit out past the left, you're going to over rotate. It's going to happen every single time. Okay. Anyway. The first part of this throw is improving, and that's awesome. We need to make sure that we get all the way left. It all has to get around that first point of rotation, okay? That's number one. Number two, we do a good job opening. I wish you just lock it in right there. I wish we just lock this position in right here. We're still too active with our arms, and I think it is just rotating us around. But we should be driving right about here. We should be holding that position, and the right foot should be going right around to the middle. Right? That's ideally what we're looking for. And we keep turning. So we miss our point of drive. We skip that whole phase. You feel that in the throw. But we just have to get down to the power position and feel the stretches, which is something I've talked about in other videos. But I'll elaborate a little bit more on that so folks will know what we're talking about. And then our knees are super wide. This is the longest path to get to the power position. This takes so long. Look at this. Look at this. You could put a whole ocean in between your feet. It's so wide. But 
we were still able to keep everything moving. This right here is greatly improved. Nice stretch, nice finish, nice pull. Now let's go back. Less with the arms. Really, 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 really ride and get into that, that good drive face. Get into that good drive position. Open that left heel and lock it in right there. Once we're here, hold the left arm and sweep your right leg. Don't just slide into it. We got to sweep into the right, excuse me, sweep into the middle. Our right foot should be landing somewhere right about there. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's too big. Hold on. Somewhere right in the middle. Boom. We're way off to the left side. So if you can clamp the back, the timing of the back of the ring, and then get you to the middle, then we can start talking about how to squeeze our knees and move our hips. Okay. We got to make sure that we're cleaning up this back of the ring because we're killing a lot of the rotational and um, horizontal speed across the ring that we can get and add to our throw. And you're saying the release is off, rubber discus. I'm not a huge fan of throwing those rubber discs um, just because the, the metal ones are better uh, aerodynamically. They fly a little better, obviously. Those are just meant for training discs, but um, I still like how we were able to pull. The general movement was still pretty solid. We've just got some really glaring things that we got to start addressing if we want to get to you know the kind of lofty goals that we have and and of course we have time and we're gonna get to them you know it's still impressive that this is the back of our ring and we're throwing what we're throwing um but this because it's a lot more technical and nuanced than shot put so it's just gonna take time but this is probably the biggest improvement here that's the biggest improvement there and then seeing how the right arm stays stretched through the second, stretched through the third. Yep. That's getting better, Samaria. That's getting better. Um, until I see you again, I would focus on getting to the dry face. So I would do some quarter turns and then do some South African turns without a throw. Just make sure that you're not skipping or cheating that first movement. Okay? We're here, armpits here. We need to make sure we get more this way, right? That's number one. Number two is locking in this foot here and trying to get the right foot out and around so we can get to the center, okay? And then once we're here, there is way too much space. You need to squeeze the knees but one thing at a time one thing at a time i'm not going to overload your brain and your body with too many new things that'll disrupt some rhythms we're trying to get to some distances this summer but as we go forward we will start building the throw that's going to allow you to throw massive super massive but this is better this is better i know i just kind of beat the throw up but it's it's improving samaria and that's all that we can ask for Yep, that's all I can ask for. Nice job, bro. Keep it up.